What's up guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today's video, we are going to set up AdWords call, free call, call tracking uh, conversion pixels. Now, usually people use a third-party call call tracking um, software like, uh, we, what do we use, CallRail? And there's a few other ones. I forget the names of them at the moment, but I, obviously I always suggest that you use a third-party call tracking um, platform because you can call score you know your, your calls lead score your calls stuff like that record calls create call different call flows and and all kinds of cool stuff and also it, you know it does track your your um calls down to the keyword which some of these ad some of these adwords uh free ones do too but they're, they can be buggy at times and uh sometimes not not really fire and stuff like that so but they, it is free and i understand if you're on a budget and you just you can't afford a call route call route you know, software or something like that, that's totally fine. Google does give you a few options, and we're going to set those up today. So we're logged into our AdWords account. We're going to come up here to Tools, come under Measurement to Conversions. We're going to hit this little plus sign here, and what we're going to do is set up Phone Call. So the first one we're going to set up is Call Extension Tracking, because we need to track our call extensions that we're using in our campaigns. And we'll just name this one. Call extension call. <clears throat> Category is going to be lead. Value, we're not going to use a value. You can set a value for what each phone call is worth to you. You know, it's up to you. We're going to count as one, always as one. Call length, we're going to set this to 25 seconds. That's just my personal preference. You can set this at whatever you want. I've seen people set it at five seconds. I've seen it at, you know, 500 seconds, whatever doesn't really matter and that's basically what you're telling Google is after the call lasts 25 seconds I want you to fire that pixel and make that count as a lead that's what you're doing um, just leave this stuff the same you don't need to mess around with that create and continue Oop, I already have one name that call extension call lead Let's see if I have that Oh, that works. Okay. All right. So now we set up our call extension conversion tracking. Let's go set that up in a campaign so you can see how to do that. So if we come in into one of our one of our demo campaigns here, we're gonna open up the campaign you want to set the call extension tracking up in. We're gonna come up here to ads and extensions. Up here to extension, we're gonna sort. And only show call extensions, or if you don't have them, we're going to set that up. So if you already have it, we're just going to we're just going to pop right in here. Make sure call reporting is on. Make sure you have this box checked. Count conversion as. We're going to choose our new conversion we just set up for call extensions. We're going to hit save, and that's it. If you need to set up a new one, hit the plus sign. Call extension. Make sure you have this campaign you're in set up. Create new, drop your phone number in here, make sure it's on, make sure you're counting conversions as the conversion pixel you set up. And um, I always check device preference mobile. If it's mobile, it'll show on both anyway. And then hit save, and that's how you would set one up from scratch. But that's how you connect your conversion tracking for call extension calls. Next, we're going to go and we're going to look at what happens if AdWords traffic comes to your landing page or your website and just decides to, once they reach your website, decides they want to click the call, a number on your website, or if they just want to pick up their phone when they're looking at your website and call. All right, so we're going to set that up. So when someone calls from your website, go back under conversions, phone calls, calls to a phone number on your website, kind of gives you a little... Uh, synopsis right here. Hit continue. Name your conversion. Call from landing page or call from website, whatever you want to put. Lead. We're not going to use a value. Count it as one. Set your seconds that you want it to count it as a lead after. Hit create and continue. So we're going to install this tag ourselves. Remember, if we set up 
your um, contact form uh, tracking. You should already have this global site tag on your website or landing page. If not, if you don't have contact form tracking set up, stuff like that, it's no problem. We're going to do this right now. So essentially what this is is Google's global site tag. This has to go on every single page of, of your website. Or if you're using a landing page, it has to go on your landing page between the head tags. All right. So we'll take that code, copy it. We'll go into our landing page software, which is Instapage. Go into one, our landing page example, a reason for this, which is xyzroof.com. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're in our landing page back end. Go up to settings, HTML. See, you already have everything, but we'll do it from scratch. You're going to go into the head tag. You're going to paste the global site tag. You're going to hit update. That makes it live on the page. All right, so that's done. Now we're going to come down to phone snippet. So the number we're going to put here is the number that's on your website or your landing page. Very important. It, can't, it has to be a static number. It can't be a number that rotates. So anytime Google bot crawls your website and sees this phone number, it's going to auto swap this number out with a call tracking number that they provide, a Google forwarding number. And that's how you're going to track um, th track calls back to the keyword from AdWords. All right. And we're going to paste that in here. Create snippet. You're going to copy this code. All right, and this is also going to go in the head tag on every page of your website or in your landing page. Come back up to HTML, and we got our site tag here. We're going to drop this event snippet code, or I'm sorry, call code, right below it. Done. Update. Save. All right, so that's live on the page now. So now, any anytime someone comes from AdWords traffic and lands on this landing page, Google's going to auto swap this number and track the phone call. Back to the keyword. So hit next. Done. And that's how you set up your call extension tracking and your calls from website tracking. All right. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're, um, I think, I actually, as of right now, we're the number one training channel for AdWords. I mean, we have like 100 something videos on there. Um, so it's getting pretty big. It's pretty cool. Um, check out the links in the description. I dropped some cool stuff in there for you, including a free guide on how to optimize your AdWords campaigns. It'll help you kind of get your feet wet and uh, start turning around poor um, converting campaigns, stuff like that. So other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.